Welcome back to Slope. Now, this was our last video where we were looking at how to take an equation and convert it to a graph quickly. Remember, M and B are variables. Just like in the formula, the area of a rectangle equals length times width. All of these are variables. So we plug numbers in and then we can solve things, okay? M and B are the things that we're gonna be able to use to draw these uh, lines quickly. So, um, if you don't remember that, please review the video on equations to graphing. We are gonna go through this part like we did in class. So we are gonna look at how to graph three different types of lines. Now remember, anything that is horizontal, like this, has no slope. Anything that is vertical has no slope because they are straight, they're vertical and horizontal lines. Okay, they don't, the laws of slope and gravity don't apply to them. If we have a line that is going up from the left to the right, there's gonna be a positive slope. If we have a line coming down from the left to the right, negative slope. Okay, keep that in your mind. Just keep saying that over and over. So the first kind of lines we're gonna talk about are vertical and horizontal lines. So it's a little counterintuitive because we often overthink this. So let's say x is going to be equal to, uh, let's say, 5. x equals 5. doesn't look like y equals mx plus b because this isn't a slope. Remember, that formula is for slope-intercept. x equals negative 5. We're going to do that one as well. There's no y. This is weird, right? There's nothing in here that we've seen before. So how do we deal with this? If x equals 5, what does that mean? That means I go on my x-axis, which is the bottom one, and I go to 5. Boom. That's x equals 5. Now let's take a look at the t-table of this. x and y. If x is always 5, give me some numbers for y. A little louder. Okay, so y is negative 4, y is 3, y is 1. So let's take a look at those. When y is 1, x is 5. When y is negative 4, x is 5. When y is positive 3, x is 5. x is always 5. So which way does this line actually go? If we have an x equals anything, that is actually going to be a horizontal line. Not horizontal, vertical. Sorry. It's going to be a line that goes up and down through the number that x equals like that. So x equals 5, that's the line that represents that data. Let's take a look at the next one. x equals negative 5. Where is x? It's this axis. Let's go to x equals negative 5. We'll put a dot. Now we know that if x equals 5, x is always 5 no matter what. Doesn't matter. Okay? So y could be any single thing. x is always 5. So these are x equals 5, x equals negative 5. Next, y equals, think about this. If y equals, well, let's do it, 5, and y equals negative 5, which direction do you think these lines are going to go? I'll even show you where 5 is. So y-axis is the up and down axis. We're going to go to 5, put it up. Y is always 5 no matter what. So these lines are going to go in the opposite direction of the x's. So this one here is y equals 5. Y equals 5. Y equals negative 5. We go on the y axis. We're talking about y. Down to negative 5. Draw the line. Bingo. Y equals negative 5. So really, what is this? It's kind of like B, but now it doesn't really matter which one we're on. Those are horizontal and vertical lines. You can put them on anywhere on, the, on your sheet. Next one, slope through the origin. Now remember, M is rise over run, delta Y over delta X. What happens if I have a slope of a whole number? Make it easy, make it a fraction, put it over one. The top is your rise, the bottom is your run. Put it over one. Top is your rise, the bottom is the run. That even rhymes. Come on, that's brilliant. All right, so this is going to be sloped through the origin. The origin is right in the center. Zero, zero. So 
So the origin is zero comma zero. No walk, no climb. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Because now I need an angle. This is gonna be a slope. We're gonna have a line that's going across our page. So if my slope is three over one, do you notice what's missing? There's no B, because this would be plus zero. So we just don't write down plus zero because it doesn't really add or take away from anything. It's just a placeholder, so you don't need it. So let's take a look at this. What is my M? Is rise over run, which is three over one. My B is zero. I start at zero. Boom. There it is. How many do I go up? What's my rise? Say it, because if you don't say this in your head, you're going to struggle. Talk to yourself when you do this math. Go up three. Then I go over one. I run one. I go up three. I meet a billy goat on the mountain. I'm going to run one. Put a dot. I'm going to go up three. Oh, I meet a bear. I'm going to run away so I can climb again. I have enough points here to make my line. And again, remember guys, make those dots on your pages in pencil, please, if you can. It'll just look way better. Remember, it's supposed to look like stained glass. This is y equals 3x. Notice how I'm writing them on the lines on my page. Now, that's a positive slope. We can see that. So we know it's going to go up to the right. Next one. y equals negative 2 over 3x. My slope is rise over run. This is going to be negative 2 over 3. It doesn't really matter which one is negative. Um, I just always make the top one negative. Right, you can ask me more about that if you want. B, there is no B. B is 0. It goes through the origin. Now, what else do we know about this, though? What does a negative slope mean? Positive slope is going to go up. A negative slope is like when you're on a skateboard and out of control and you're freaking out because you don't know what you're going to do. That is not a good situation to be in. It's a negative situation. You're going down a hill. So let's do it. I'll do this one in blue. How about that? So negative 2 is my rise. So I go down 2. How many do I go over? Positive. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are getting bigger. Positive. 1, 2, 3. Down 2. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. A lot of people don't know where to put the dots. Put the dots at the end of your slope run. There, that's enough. I got three or four. Connect the dots. Just like when you were a little tiny baby. Well, maybe not a baby. More like a toddler. Babies don't connect the dots. I still like connect the dots. That's all right. Beautiful. What did I forget to do? y equals negative 2 over 3x. Okay, so guys, that's it. It's you're basically making staircases. Okay, there's one other set that we need to look at because this is where we put it all together. So we've done this with no slope. It's my vertical and horizontal lines. We've done it with a slope through the origin with no b. So just like in algebra, next step. Let's take a look. We are going to add in the B. Now, B is where the line crosses the YMCA. No, the Y axis. That blue line is what B refers to. It's one of the most important lines or most important crosses in this form. Where it crosses tells us a lot of information. Okay, I got funny. There we go. So I'm going to give you some examples. Now remember this, the coordinate point here is always 0 comma y. Comes important later in life. Let's do y equals um, uh, 4x minus 3. We're going to do a minus to start. You can handle it. Where does this line start? Actually, make it minus 13. Let's do that. Where does this start? Well, my slope is 4, so that's 4 over 1. It's a positive slope, so I know it's going to go up. Uh, this is my rise. This is my run. What is my B? 
my constant, negative 13. I go to my map, I go negative 13 on the y-axis, always on the y-axis for b. My rise is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. My run is 1, put a dot. My rise is what? 1, 2, 3, very good. Okay, now I'm going to do a little interesting thing here. I'm going to flip it here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, just to give me another line there. Okay, take my handy dandy ruler. Please use your rulers. If you don't, these look sloppy and like a mess. Don't want them to look messy, they're going on display. There we have it. This is y equals 4x minus 13. We do one more, and then I'm going to wrap this video up, and then I'll show you how to do it practically on uh, one of the students' work they did. Let's do y equals negative uh, 2 over 4x plus 2, plus 12. I know you can't see that very well. Um, let's go m equals negative 2 over 4, which could also be negative 1 over 2. And my b is plus 12. It's negative slope, this is going to go this way. Right? Start to analyze it that way. It makes a big difference. Right? I'm just trying to get my thing to focus better. There we are. So we're going to start at plus 12, way up here. My rise is negative 2, or negative, let's do the easier one. Negative 1. Negative 1 is up or down? Down. Down 1, over 2. Down 1, over 2. Down 1, over 2. That's it. Done. Don't make it complicated. Find where you cross the y-intercept. Calculate your slope. Well, not calculate it. Write it down. y equals negative 1 half x plus 12. Is it going down? You bet it is. Is this a negative slope and going down? Definitely. Positive slope going up. Positive slope going up. That's it, guys. That's all there is to it. Uh, if you're still confused and don't know how to do it on your uh, thingy thing, <laughs> on your homework page, your stained glass, uh, I'm going to show you how to calculate it in the next video. Thanks.